Coral reefs extend from the surface to about 500 feet. So because of their depths, mesophoric reefs are one of the most unexplored ecosystems on the planet. If I were to go down there and close my eyes, half of what I collect would be new to science. And that's what we're here to study. I'm Bart Shepard. I'm Senior Director of Steinhardt Aquarium at the California Academy of Science. We're out here investigating what we call mesophotic reefs or twilight zone reefs and they're coral reefs that exist below the limits of recreational scuba diving. My name is Meridius Bell and I'm the diving safety officer for the California Academy of Sciences. The dives that we're doing are in excess of 400 feet to almost 500 feet. There are only a handful of institutions that actually do the kind of diving that we do. Less than 25 or 30 scientists doing this kind of work in the world and you know we have a team of four, soon to be six, uh, at the academy doing that right now. As we descend in the water column, pressure increases. When it happens, your ears start to squeeze and your mass starts to suck down. As we continue to descend, you'll see a drop in ambient light so it's not nearly as bright as it is. The longer we're there, the deeper we go, then the longer it takes for us to come up slowly, decompressing. The stakes for those types of dives are much higher. Normally, people only care for what they, they know. And these reefs, they cover only 0.1% of the habitats in the oceans, but they shelter almost one-third of the biodiversity of the oceans. We don't know what kind of impacts affect those deep reefs. Everybody thought that they were out of reach, both by humans and by natural impacts. More and more we're seeing that it's not the case. The biggest impact that we've seen on this trip is that there's sand cascading down and covering a lot of these deep reefs. Sedimentation is a major problem. The particulates will smother and kill a lot of the encrusting invertebrates. Things like corals, sponges, other invertebrates that live attached to the rocks, they can't move. So that sand comes down and it buries them and it could kill sections of them. If we haven't been here at this particular period of time, probably would never know what kind of impacts hurricanes have in those deep reefs. That's something nobody else has done before. The vertical walls, the cutoffs, the overhangs, the, all the sponges, the color, I mean, the whole the entire landscape is all inspiring. Many of these places that we visit, no one has ever put eyes on. And the fact that, that places like that still exist is really remarkable to me. It's our job to try to explore and explain the importance of these reefs. You, know, you can do all the best science in the world, but if you don't share it with the public, then what good is it? You know, it's science being done in a vacuum. 90% of what we found are unique to the deep reefs. They don't occur on the shallow reefs at all. What we learn about coral reefs today can affect our survival in the future.